<laughs> we're here opening day North Dakota we're two hours away officially from it being opening day we gotta walk a half mile in we're gonna hit one more spot before we hunt tonight um, check a card hit a couple spots yesterday Nick already had them all set up we just went and baited them walk this stuff in walk out and then we got a three mile walk to where we're hunting tonight so it's gonna be a gonna be a walk full day today <laughs> so let's kick it <laughs> quarter mile into this walk bringing some treats out for the deer we have a long way to go to get to where we're going I'm really hoping that uh, Deegan Nick's son I really hope he's the one that gets a crack at a nice buck there's one showing up on camera we've been calling him Deegan's buck he seems pretty excited to shoot him oh just about fell this hauling corn stuff is not easy business, buddy. I'll tell you that much right there. Sixty-one pictures in two days, I believe. So there's still some treats down. We're just gonna put one bag and then split the bag so the mile walk we have back to the truck it could be half the weight, which is smart. Um, ground blind set up. Hopefully, big one shows up here, and we'll be hunting. We'll be getting in the tree soon. It's gonna be a crazy night. I made it in to my stand. I'm about an hour away from everybody else. It took me about 40 minutes to walk back in here. It's just over a mile and a half. Um, it's starting to get pretty windy, as you can probably hear in the microphone. Tyler is hunting two big bucks that we um, got on camera today. They were in the camera this morning at 4.30. One left at 4.30 and one left at 5.30 and they went back into the draw that they're going to come out of hopefully tonight and he's going to get a shot at them. We were in there this morning, that's what we were baiting and um, checking cameras and getting everything set up. Tonight, if I shoot one, it's going to be a long night because they're going to have to drive up here with a wheeler because there's no way I'm going to get this out by myself. There's like six bucks in here that are... 130 plus and I'll shoot any one of them so we're uh
It gets brighter. I can't too. even look at you. This is recovery fuel. You boys ready to go recover a deer? Shot a buck. Okay. Yep. Gotta drink some beer. Do we want to pull them with the sled or just drag them? What do you think? He has handlebars. Oh, you know. actually shot a buck? I did. <laughs> I passed the doe tonight. <laughs> it is night four of five nights out here. We got to check the camera uh, and we put some new bait out. Not knowing what was there, we put that out and there ended up being two really big bucks that were showing up at this spot. And now, one's dead. He saw both tonight, but ended up getting a shot at this one. It's probably like 140 inch 10 pointer with a split two. He's a nice buck, I haven't seen him yet. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna take a peek at him. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be hunting another day. Different spot. This one's probably cooked for a while. After we leave here, just like pull the camera and the blind down. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just this is gonna be bunged up for a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, it might be shot after the harvest here at the end of the month, which is three weeks away, so. Go deeper in the oh. corn maybe and. You know, because Tyler shot it, we should both sit in that sled and he can bring us right to it. <laughs> uh, stall walk. Well, Ooh. um, let's take a look at what you did. He's a little bigger than what he looked. I don't know, dude. That's huge. <laughs> look at where he was. I don't know if he was rubbing or coming through the weeds there. It's a big deer. Yeah, he's heavy. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought when I, because I came up on this side of him to shoot him again. And I'm like, that thing's a lot heavier than what I thought. Yeah. Six by seven or six. Then I crawled up here. That's where I shot him the second time. So it probably went up. That one there. didn't look that high. I know. It took him out somehow. Big deer too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty big buck. Hmm. Bigger than what I thought from pictures. Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Luck. We got some work to do now. Good work though. Yeah, that's Fun a good work. one. Yeah. Pretty cool. And the other one's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about that. I don't know. Fun stuff. It's all you. You shot him. <laughs> Uh, should we get him out of here? Sure. That was only like five feet. What's that? Well, I thought that was marijuana. Why, are we gonna stop and smoke some? <laughs> Maybe like it. tonight. It does smell like it. He's ripping his head back on this side. Good. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> he gets to shoot all the deer. He can drag it out. Make him do it. Dragging deer, like, 
a half a mile for him so he can take it to the finish line the last yeah about 50 feet is you guys are way too nice bullshit <laughs> all right here play it old fat we're boy close. i got her we're close let's go oh. Oh, this. oh. Definitely didn't bring enough bush light. From the weed. Oh, down he goes. Legs are smoked. Oh, we got him. Thanks, boys. <laughs> huh? Shut the lights off. Two minute break. You are a fan. Well fed from venison. <laughs> Wouldn't be bad if it's a lot of work. Wouldn't be bad if the weeds, hey, the weeds didn't catch up. them. Yeah, those, those things suck. Holy crap, am I out of shape? That's pathetic. I don't think that's a three-year-old buck, is it? No. Not a chance. Look at his melon. Look at that. Never shot one with that red on his forehead. Yeah, they're pretty like that. Yeah. I think we're just gonna go straight in, put them in. One, Ready? two, three. Oh, that was terrible counting. And then. That old piece of shit sled's seen a lot of deer. <laughs> Oh. Good job, Jesse.